Hello students, how are you? Are you alright? Have you taken breakfast? Nikhil, Harsha, are you ready? Yes, let's go to task. Which class you are studying, Nikhil? Yes, you are studying in 6th class. Harsha, what about you? Yes, you are studying 6th class. Are you clever boys or not? What about Mahati and Anaga? Yes, you are all clever students. Now, what's our lesson? Can you guess? Yes, it's clever Tanali Ramakrishna. Tanali Ramakrishna is also a clever man like you. Yes, firstly, let's go for some new words. Look at the picture. How is she? Oh, Nikhil, Hasha, how is she? Look at her face. She is very irritated, no? She has no patience at all. That means she is impatient. She is very impatient. She has no patience. Yes. Now, Look at the next word. Look at this man. Look at her. Look at his face. Look at his feelings. Yes, is not right. Is not calm. Is not peaceful. he has no patience at all. Is in a hurry. You want to do it now itself. So we can say he is very impatient. Yes, you are correct. He is very impatient. Look at the next word. Next picture. Look at the picture. What are they doing? They are introducing each other. They are introducing each other. Yes, that is called introduction. Nikhil, will you introduce yourself to the class? You are a new boy, no? Will you introduce yourself? Yes, tell me. Yes, Nikhil, you are correct. You said well. Hey, what did Nikhil say? My name is Nikhil. I am studying 6th class at JPHS Kondapura. Yes, that's his introduction. Nikhil introduced well. Yes, Nikhil is a good boy, a clever boy. Yes. Now, so you learned new words. Are you patient now, students? Do you have patience to listen to the lesson? Yes. Now, we go to the lesson. Look at the lesson. I read it out. Then you read it yourself in your heart. Along with the lesson, students, we learn Grammar also. Oh, notice it when I say Minister. Who is the speaker here? Minister. As Our Majesty, I will make an announcement in our empire. Announcement. What are the three forms? Announce, announced, announced. Noun form, announcement. Here we see the things, students. But Chitra was plans and actions led to confusion everywhere. He had never handled the matters of court before. His decisions were irrelevant. Irrelevant means they have no connection with the things. Irrelevant. His conclusions lacked sense. With this, the people grew impatient. They are not peaceful at all. Let the emperor continue to support him. Let the emperor continue to support him. The elders of the empire decided to seek help from the courts just Tenali Ramakrishna in this matter. Tenali Ramakrishna told them that he had an idea and assured them not to worry. One day, Tenali Ramakrishna approached the emperor Sri Krishna Devaraya. Hey, look at these pair of students. These are, all, these are all common sentences. Kada? 
These are all sentences. What do these sentences denote? In Chaptanai, what do they speak, students? They speak about the things clearly. Clear ga chaputunai. What's the thing in the empire? Empire la persit alag in the nidhi. These are said clearly. They are declaring the things. So we call these sentences declarative sentences. What are these sentences, students? Declarative sentences. How are the things ane? is stated in this in these lines kada so such sentences are called declarative sentences yes we proceed ramkrishna your majesty i know that i have been blessed with your baby boy i will be happy if you visit my house for my boy's naming ceremony tomorrow oh wonderful it's my pleasure ramkrishna the emperor visited ramkrishna's house the next day with a bouquet of flowers in his hands. Welcome, Your Majesty. We are grateful for your visit. Please bless my son. Dear Gosh Man Baba, this is a token of my love. The Emperor puts a gold chain around, around baby's neck. Yes, look here. You notice, students, Your Majesty. Who said these words? Ever Chaperu Ramakrishna. Sri Krishna said, He said, Oh, wonderful. So, what about these uh, words, students? Ever Majesty. Ever Majesty. Oh, wonderful. Did you understand? Did you notice these sentences, students? Did you observe? Here, they are talking about their feelings, their strong feelings. These words are talking about their strong feelings. Yes. Such a thing, such words are called exclamatory words. They are exclamatory in nature. Next. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You are requested to join us for lunch. Join three forms, students. Join, join, join. Oh, water, water. Give me water. Urgent. Oh, God, water, water. Hey, Ramakrishna, what is this horrible dishes? It's too spicy. It's too salty to not cook her properly. It's undercooked. Who cooked this? Is this the way to cook? Food. Do you want do you want all of us to die? Please forgive me, sir. Let me introduce the cook to you. Bring him at once, or you will be punished. You will be punished. This is the best carpenter in Vijayanagar. He is a brilliant worker. I gave him the task of cooking for today. You look at the sentences, students, here. Thank you very much, Eva Majesty. Who said Ramakrishna? He expressed his feelings, you know, strongly. He said, thanks. Then look at the words of the king, Sri Krishna Devaraya. What did he, what did he say? Oh, water, water. Oh, God, water. It's spicy. It's salty, not cooked. These are all, uh, these words are saying about, these words are talking about his strong feelings, students. So such uh, words are called exclamatory. They are exclamatory in nature. Strong feelings are given here, you know, in these words. So they are exclamatory. Ilant words, Neman Pilustama, exclamatory words. With strong feelings in Chavutana. So they are exclamatory in nature. Last pair, look at the last pair. Here, what's the thing about the carpenter is given here? What's the nature of the carpenter? What's the nature of the man? This is the best carpenter. He's a brilliant worker. He, I gave him the task. These are all common sentences. Kada. They're stating the things clearly. 
what's the thing anedi ee sentences lo is said clearly what's the thing is said clearly in these sentences they are common sentences so these sentences are declaring the things things ni gurinchi chebutunnaru such sentences are, de, are called what do we call such sentences declarative sentences what do we call them declarative sentences yes next pair are you crazy ramakrishna he may be an excellent carpenter or can he be a cook pardon me your majesty if a painter can be a chief advisor why can a carpenter not be a cook ramakrishna he opened you you opened my eyes you made me realize my mistake i was afraid to say no your majesty i am very thankful to you if we am if i am sent back to my previous job minister make necessary arrangements to send him back thank you very much your majesty all the people assembled there hailed tenale ramakrishna for his presence of mind here some questions are there look at the students are you crazy ramakrishna one question is there no so such alane some questions are there these questions are interrogative they are interrogative in nature such sentences are called interrogative interrogative sentences now you read in your heart students we go for explanation s minister said to the king oh s your majesty s your majesty i will make an announcement in the empire what are the things students how are the things elagunnai parisra lagunnai it is declared clearly what the thing is in declarative sentences declarative sentences lone it is declared no so what name one please them declarative sentences so what is here declaration ma what is the declaration here chuddam chitravamas plans chitravamas actions led to confusion is a jations have no connection with the things people grew impatient they lost patience then they went to tena they went to tenale ramakrishna for help then ramakrishna assured them don't worry don't worry i will see it i will see it so tenale ramakrishna declared that he would see నేను చూస్తానని చెప్పాడు సో డిక్లేర్డ్ సో దట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద డిక్లరేషన్ ఆఫ్ థింగ్స్ నో సో వాట్ వీ కాల్ దీస్ సెంటెన్సెస్ విట్ నేమని పిలుస్తాము డిక్లరేటివ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ ఎస్ తెనాలి రామకృష్ణ వెన్ టు ద కే వాట్ యు సే ఎవ మెజెస్టీ ఎవ మెజెస్టీ ఐ వాస్ బ్లెస్డ్ విత్ యర్ baby but i was blessed with a baby but tomorrow we are celebrating is a naming ceremony we feel happy if you come and visit us then what about the feeling of the king even she said oh wonderful it is a pleasure he said what the king say oh wonderful it is a pleasure that means uh, he, he said he talked about his feelings strongly so we call them exclamatory sentences so what did he exclaim even said ma oh wonderful it is my pleasure as a king when to ramakrishna's house dirghashman bow he blessed the bow and he put a gold chain round the bow baby boy's neck then tenali ramalinga 
requested him to have lunch. To have lunch. Tenale Ramakrishna requested the king to have lunch. Yes, king attended, started taking lunch. Then he exclaimed, he said strongly about his feelings. He said strongly, what do you say? Oh God, water, water, urgent water. It's too spicy. It's too salty. It's undercooked. So these words are saying about his feelings, strong feelings. What about the food? It's too salty. It's too spicy. Burning. It's a burning. Your tongue is burning. Mandutun, it's too hot. Yes. Then, so such sentences are called exclamatory sentences. So, these sentences talk about his strong feelings. Even Chapadama, oh, water, water, urgent, it's too spicy, it's too salty. So, he, ex he exclaimed. Who exclaimed? Who shouted like this? The king shouted. Put salty. Inka spicy. So he asked for water, 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 urgent water. So he exclaimed. The king exclaimed. So what do we call such sentences with Nevan Pulistamanamo? Exclamatory sentences. So these sentences talk about his strong feelings. Papa Manditundikada and the He put a question to Ramakrishna. He interrogated about this. Who cooked this? Who cooked? Ever wonder? Is it the way of cooking? Ilanena? So he interrogated the people. Interrogated, he put questions to the people. Question one, question two, question three, question four. Are you crazy, Ramakrishna? Are you mental? Do you give such a task to this man? So this way he put uh, many questions to Ramakrishna. He interrogated uh, Ramakrishna. So these words, these sentences are interrogative in nature. And okay, what do we call them? Even Purustam Whitney interrogative sentences. So, what are the questions he put to Ramakrishna students? Even questions we search with them. Who cooked this? Who cooked? Is it the way of cooking? Ilana and Avanda. Are you crazy, Ramakrishna? These are the questions. So, they are interrogative in nature. Is, he put many questions to Ramakrishna. He inquired about the person. He inquired about the thing. So he did an inquiry. Okay, inquiry chaser. And the Ilanda sentence never pulavale interrogative sentences. Akodu Ram Krishna said, Eman Chapadu Chudda. Dan Kamundu, King said, Bring him at once. Or you will be punished. Evanadama, bring him at once. Or you will be punished. Either log on this sentence, uh, it's an order. It's a command. Kada? Yamanadama, bring him at once. Like put in just them, you will be punished. So bring him at once is an order. Ma. Such sentences are called imperative sentences. With Namantarama, imperative sentences. So orders come under imperative sentences. Then Ramakrishna declared. Declared, declared a sentence. So what did Ramakrishna declare? Yem declared Chesar Chudda. Your Majesty, this is the best carpenter. He also declared, Inka Yaman He is a brilliant worker. He is the best carpenter in the empire. A brilliant worker. I gave him the task of cooking. And Ramakrishna declared. And he said what the thing is. He declared. 
what the thing is vishayam ante cheppadu i gave this task to him nene cheppadu who is this man actually he is the best carpenter a brilliant worker ani he declared so ilond sentences ne what do we call eman pulistam amma declarative sentences yes king asked ramkrishna em adigadu are you crazy okay he may be an excellent carpenter how can he be a cook allow to do cook he interrogated again he interrogated ramkrishna so he put questions em cheppa what he interrogate amma em interrogate chesadu are you crazy are you crazy how can he be a cook actually he is a carpenter how can he be a cook cook ela avutadu then ramakrishna declared ramakrishna declared how with obedience he said obediently pardon your majesty there is a feeling kada strong feeling pardon your majesty he exclaimed pardon ever majesty ne exclaimed then he said obediently em cheppadu if a painter can be your advisor why can't a carpenter be a cook you appointed a painter a chief advisor as a chief advisor then why can't a carpenter be a cook yes he said to the king before it what he say ma em annadu he exclaimed exclaimed means he said his feelings strongly pardon your majesty he exclaimed then he also put a question to the king why can't a carpenter be a cook when a painter is a chief advisor yes. then king said he opened my eyes he made me realize my mistake king declared what the king declared even cheppadu amma he opened my eyes he made me realize my mistake and king declared to declare it to sentence carpenter said carpenter exclaimed carpenter em cheppadu so what's the feeling of the sorry what's the painter say what's the feeling of the painter painter em cheppadu no your majesty i am very thankful to you i can't be chief. i can't be the chief advisor i am afraid to say no i am afraid to say no please send me back to my previous job immediately the king said make arrangements to send him back to his job thank you very much majesty that's the thing so here the king declared his mood ramkrishna declared the things then they talked about the strong feelings then king put many questions no king gave orders also so how many types of word sentences are there students four kinds of sentences are there kada now we go for grammar look here you already learned no first one look at the first one the emperor was pleased with chidramasa paintings there's a declaration kada a sentence that is declaring what the thing is what do we call such sentence declarative sentence next oh what a beautiful picture strong feeling cheptundi kada idi 
So we call it an exclamatory sentence. Make an announcement. There's an order now. So such sentences are called imperative sentences. Are you crazy, Ramakrishna? Question, kada? Such questions are called interrogative sentences. Next. Please show me the way to the library. That is, show me the way. Prayers, commands, even you could have imperative in question. But a great painting this is. Strong feeling kada? Exclamatory. Where can I find a sweet shop? Question amma. Interrogative. Mother looks after her children carefully. Declarative. What happened? Question kada? Interrogative. Next. Punctuation is charged. He got a good job. So this man amma. There he is. Kada? There he is. He got a good job. That is declarative. Next. Did he get a good job? Question kada? Question mark. What a great job. Strong feeling amma. There is an exclamation. What an exclamatory mark. Exclamatory mark. What is your job? There is a question. So question mark. Have you finished your job? Question. Question mark. I am ready to finish my job. Full stop. Is he ready to finish his job? There is a question. Question mark. Next. Some sentences are there students. Look here. It is all over affection and encouragement. Affection and encouragement. Two words are linked with and. And and it is linking these two words. So we call it a conjunction. People grow impatient. But the emperor continued to support him. People grow impatient. But king Encheli, king should follow the people. Can he did another thing? How do we link the sentences? But. How do we link the sentences? But. The thing is like this. Can he? That is. The result is another way. Result is equal. How do we link the we join the sentences with but. So but is a conjunction. Next to the. Bring him at once or I will be punished. R. O or R is linking the sentences here. So O or R anedi is acting as a conjunction. So here what are the conjunctions? But and it. So even you could have. They come under conjunctions. So what do these conjunctions do? In just the way, they join two words. They join two sentences. They join two phrases. So linking is their duty and matter. So what do we call them? Conjunctions. Thank you students. Thank you for listening. Yonikil, Harsha, Mahati, Anaga. Have you understood? Yes. Nega, kurtun mu olsa melen? Minus mı da pettin ha?